How's it going guys? It's Brevers here and welcome to the final part of the UI table view. In this part we'll be showing you how to create segway when you select the cell and it will be pushed to another view controller. So let's start by going back to very first again at main the storyboard. Now we're gonna let our navigation controller handle the segway when we push to another view controller. You can do that by go to editor and uh, embed it in navigation controller and that's it we have our navigation controller here and then we'll link to table view and you can see there's a different here there's a navigation controller up in our table view so I want to run it to show you guys first that uh, now our title will show up right here come on right beautifully just very beautiful so yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna pause it right there. And let's continue to our another view controller, right? I'm just gonna, the same thing, create new group, which is the folder. I'm just gonna say detail, VC, detail view controller, and right click at it and uh, create new file. The same, iOS, Cocoa Touch class, click next. I'm just gonna name it uh, detail view controller just VC and it is a subclass of UI view controller too much okay also create XIB file next create and yeah I guess that's it let's go back to let's go to XIB file and I'm just gonna add the image whole image here And of course, don't forget to select and then add reset to such as constraints. And that's it. And again, let's make the connection between this XIB file and uh, the Swift file. Just gonna double click it. Control drag this. I'm just gonna name it detail image. Yeah, that's it. And what we need next is another attribute, which is the image name, which is a string. And at the view did load, just just gonna say detail image dot image. We will go to UI image and uh, name self dot image name, which is here, right? And yeah, typical, the same thing with the uh, cell. I'm just gonna create function call, come on init, and uh, specify image name, string, and title, which also a string, and set the self dot image name, image name, right, and self dot title, equal to this title. It's slightly different than this cell because we now have to create uh, an attribute image name because the way it works is slightly different. Uh, we have to set it first and when uh, the view controller, the detail view controller get pushed, then it will call automatically call this view did load. So we can later on create an image. And that's it. We all set with detail view controller. Now we're gonna go back to our table view here where is it okay view controller we're gonna add one more function which is table view did select oh, come on it it knows the first one here did select row at index right so we're gonna go add create new view controller I'm just gonna say new VC detail VC here and you see dot come on in it I'm just gonna say the name of the background which is got underscore bg underscore and let's give it the index path dot item and then the name will be uh, house data also index path item and then self dot navigation controller dot push view controller vc and animated yeah with animation and then self dot table view 
dot deselect index path true all right let's try to run this thing here we go you ready I'm gonna go with uh, tally here we go and uh, Takarin nice Stark good and that's it I'm just gonna spend three more minutes on explaining you guys how this actually works so uh, here when I click on Stark for example here it will go to this function right so it will create this view controller which is the detail view controller in this view controller it just have a simple and plain image and so after we create it this is not being pushed yet right we just create view controller and then we set our view controller with the image correspond to the index which is stock the same which is goes to IR stock and then there's a house data which also corresponds to the house data index which is stock and then we can say that navigation controller now can push this view controller that we have already set our detail for our view controller and then after that we we say that the uh, table view should deselect row it means that we go back and the, the, the gray the gray out area it, it went out yeah and that's it I, I guess that's it we just we just did it the last step Thank you so much guys for sticking to the end of the tutorial, it means so much to me. And if you have any suggestions or any questions, just leave the comment below. And feel free to subscribe as I will constantly and continuously bringing the best content in Swift programming and iOS programming as much as possible. So thank you for your support. See you in the next one.